What's up, everyone? Welcome to the season review of the Buffalo Bills. Um, we're going to start here with the Madden roster. This is one of the teams that I really feel EA kind of does an injustice to. So if there's any Bills fans uh, watching, I'm curious to know what you think about the changes that I've made to this team uh, and if you think uh, they're accurate. Uh, so we're going to start with the quarterback, uh, Tyrod Taylor, uh, actually an overrated player in Madden, in my opinion. Uh, you know, there's extra reports of the Bills moving on from him, which is not uh, a sign that he's as good as a lot of people think. Um, but really on tape, he does seem kind of like like a Band-Aid quarterback, a guy that you're going to have to um, really shape your offense around, that you can't, um, you know, run what you really want to run with Tyrod Taylor. He struggles in a lot of um, facets of the game. He's not a pocket passer. There are parts of his game that I do like. He's incredibly mobile, obviously, and um, great at throwing uh, from different uh, odd positions with his body and uh, good at uh, getting rid of the ball quick, definitely. Um, but I do think he's going to be back next year. Uh, but if he doesn't improve in the pocket, I don't think there's a chance he's back um, for the long term. Uh, and then EJ Manuel still on the roster. Um, I'm not sure when his contract's up, but you got to think he'll be on his way out. And then Cardale Jones, intriguing as well. Um, but moving on to the running backs, LaShawn McCoy had an awesome season. Uh, amidst a year where a lot of running backs were great, LaShawn kind of went um, underlooked at some times, but looked better than he has in years. And uh, showing all that burst and acceleration that, uh, we loved from him years ago, so he's back, uh, 91 overall. Uh, and then moving on to the receivers, uh, Sammy Watkins, I'm still a believer in. Uh, it's just the injuries uh, keep stacking up, and I'm not sure uh, what's going on there. Uh, but he's still an 88, which is about where, where Madden has him. And then Robert Woods, I moved down, but... I actually like Robert Woods quite a bit. Uh, he was just a little high for me and low 80s. He fits in that category of, of a good solid wide receiver too at this point, but he is a free agent. And uh, he could be one of those guys that um, lands on a, on a better team with a better situation and has a rejuvenation. A team that uh, I think would be really interesting would be uh, the Eagles with uh, Carson Wentz, and then he'd be with his former teammate, Nelson Aguilar. I think that would be a really good fit for Robert Woods. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, tight end, not a ton to talk about. I did notice Logan Thomas uh, now as a tight end, the former quarterback. thought that was interesting. Uh, and then Charles Clay, just kind of a mainstay there. Nothing special, but definitely a solid player. This offensive line is one of the aspects of this team that I had to really improve. Uh, Madden had a lot of these guys really low. You know, I moved Richie Incognito up a little bit, but uh, Eric Wood, John Miller, Jordan Mills all had really good years. It was a huge reason why LaShawn McCoy had the year he did. So those guys, I all moved up a little bit. And then on the defense, really all around, I kind of disagreed with these ratings. So this is really where I'm looking forward to hearing from some Bills fans. Adolphus Washington, I moved up five. He had an awesome rookie year. Um, and then um, Marcel Darius, I moved up. Uh, one bad year isn't going to make me ignore the three great years he had before. He's still young. And then Jerry Hughes, I was really surprised to see. He was only a 77 overall now in the, in the Madden roster. I've talked about him a lot this year, so I moved him up quite a bit. And uh, I just think he really does it all. He's not an elite pass rusher by any means, but uh, it definitely stops the run well, gets out in coverage, a good athlete. Um, so I was really impressed with Jerry Hughes this year. Uh, the linebackers I moved, Zach Brown down and Preston Brown up. Uh, I like Zach Brown, but one breakout year, I'm not going to overreact uh, to the three bad years he had in Tennessee before. And then Preston Brown was, was like a 74, and I like a lot of things he does in the run game. Uh, so I, those guys a little closer than uh, Madden has them. 
And then Lorenzo Alexander had a huge year. Uh, we'll see if he can repeat that. I mean, when a guy breaks out at 33 years old, it's kind of hard to say he's going to repeat that, but uh, you never know. Uh, and then onto the corners, Stefan Gilmore is a free agent, going to be one of the top corners on the market. Uh, and then Ronald Darby, I had to move up because I think Darby's actually the number one corner on this team. He had a pretty good year, I thought. So he moves up, uh, and then Roby Coleman stays at a 78. Uh, but I had to play around with his uh, kind of tackling and uh, abilities in the nickel. Um, I thought Madden was a little low on those. Uh, and then the the safeties, uh, you know, I think Graham's a, a nice player. Uh, as well as Aaron Williams. So that's kind of my wrap-up of the the roster there. As far as how the season went for the Bills, I think it was kind of par for the course. You know, this was kind of a roster that was a little all over the place, and the expectations were playoffs. I thought 8-8 eight and eight would have been a pretty successful season. You know, they have a pretty average roster, and if you can go 8-8 eight and eight with an average roster, that's no small feat. I wasn't a huge fan of of letting Rex Ryan go. I thought he was starting to hit his stride with this team. Uh, so I'm going to give this team a B for their their season. They had a, a you know a solid, respectable year. They didn't make the playoffs, but uh, you know they don't have a great quarterback, and their defense was was kind of putting pieces together. Uh, and then Sammy Watkins, their best player, uh, probably on offense, other than Lashawn, he missed pretty much the whole season. So uh, going forward, it's hard to say with a new coach how everything's going to work out. Um, but this is just one of those teams that they kind of have a lot of stuff to figure out. Uh, so we'll see what happens this off offseason. Uh, and thanks for watching the Bills. We're going to move on and talk about the Broncos next. So we'll see you there.